All right, we've now explored one side of this place. Let's try to make our way to the other one. This might take us a little while. But I'm going to be thorough, damn it, because there's a bunch of places to explore, and clearly some of them are important. Hello. Aquamarine. I'll take it. I'm tempted to go all the way back to my base, too, because there's no apparent time limits right now, but most people leveled up, which means that I can go train skills if I want to. That's not a terrible idea. Let's go grab that. Another scroll! So I assume if I hit take all, it just goes into the stash, right? Like nobody suddenly has a fruit on them? Was that there already or not? I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll try to con I'll try to test it better on, on the uh, next loot item. Go for something that's not already in someone's inventory, just to be sure. Or pre-confirm that it's not in their inventory, so I can tell. Oh, it said you must something, but I don't know what it was saying, because I was entering a door, and now I'm in the door. <laughs> so I hope it wasn't important. Kalia and Kalian. So these are named characters this time. Don't mind me just taking your stuff. Wait, no, so... Cheese. Let's put the cheese away real quick. Anyone have st cheese? Nope. Take all. Oh. So it does auto-loot to a specific character's inventory. So it's not gonna, unfortunately, take all does not put it in the uh, stash. Unless I'm missing something. Maybe I can click on the stash in advance. Let's try again. Are they gonna react to me walking to their place? Stash? Oh, there we go. Then take all? First of all, this is a... Oh, it's a dagger. That's fine. So nobody should suddenly have a dagger, right? There you go. That's what I need to do, is I need to click the stash first. I didn't think of the... Uh, I was only I only was clicking on individual characters so far because I was thinking of comparing the stats between items, so I didn't think about the idea of pre-clicking on the stash because it doesn't have... Uh, it doesn't really fall into the umbrella of comparing stats. But that works. Alright, so what's your guys' deal? Greetings, Fadebinder. Sorry, I'm not in interested in whatever you're selling. If you want to talk to someone, talk to my brother. I'm not interested in anything you're selling, previous governor of this entire town, that I've probably met before. <laughs> so, de defying expectations, there was actually nothing to do in there. So, looking around, we can go all the way down here, we can loop around up to top. Let's go all the way to the bottom first, then loop back around. I'll keep the second floor at off-limits for a while, so it'll, it'll help me keep in mind the fact that I haven't been there yet. Oh, there's a door down there that I don't think I've been in yet either. Huh. Maybe I'll go up and then- yeah, maybe I'll go up first then. Stick to- stick to this area. Then I'll go down, because that's where the ramp is, right? Yeah. That- that order flows then. Because there's a- there's now a ground floor door that I have access to I didn't have before. Unless nothing's gonna be here. Not even named characters or anything. What it- nope. There's a Denya- There's Denya and Eldian, we'll get to them in a moment. Okay, so now we'll go back down to the ramp. There might not be much left to do. Which I would be somewhat grateful for, because, uh... I don't, I don't necessarily want to spend two hours checking door by door. If any... If nothing else, uh... The constant loading screens are a deterrent. Disengagement defense bonus. Is that the only bonus for this? Yeah, for both of them. Uh... Of those two, which I feel like... Perhaps... Eh... I don't know for sure which one would be more likely to be disengaging, necessarily. But I'll put it on my healer, so just to try to safeguard the healer so they can continue to be a living character who can heal people. I figure of the two spellcasters, defensive items should be prioritized for the healer because that's the character that's capable of recovering characters and reviving characters and so on. Whereas other people would be in trouble. Does that door open? Does not. Look at that, there's a little lit-up interior in there, and that's kind of a nice attention to detail. Due to frequency of raids, all the bridges and ramps and Lethian's Crossing can be raised to provide safe places for settlers to hide. So I think we're almost done then. Is it... how about you? Nope. So the last door I saw was that one up there. Oh, and Merchant Praxis. We haven't interacted with you yet, have we? Because we have I don't think so, since the, uh, everything changed. Hello, Fight Bender, I have where... oh my god, there's just multiple overlapping projected things. Hello, Fatebinder. I have wares to sell, uh, if you have a mind to trade. You single-handedly took the care of an entire garrison. Reminds me of not- or remind me to not cross p paths with a Fatebinder. Not single-handedly, there's four of us. That's how count- that's how numbers work. <laughs> Good day, fine friend. Could I interest you in a matter of provisions? There's no telling what may befall you on your travels. 
Oh yeah, I haven't asked... The vendor I talked to was somebody else, right? Not this guy? Uh, let's ask about the seal I found in Vendrine's well. I don't recognize it, but one of the other merchants here might. Between all of us, there has to be someone who has seen it in their travels. So let's ch check through our stuff. I picked up a few of these items at least. There we go. A few trade goods. My duplicate hammer now. My disappointing duplicate hammer. Uh, the, sp the spear I don't care about. Still keeping a two-handed weapon around. I'm just afraid to sell her item. It just seems too important. That feels weird to sell it. Bronze spear. Not throwing. Let's see, that's... My only concern is that it's not better than his stuff, right? Yeah, it lacks the armor penetration and stuff. Let's go and trade these things. And you have a tier... F yeah, you have a great spear. You have <laughs> tier forged bronze, a bronze spear. So it's a reoccurring thing for him to sell... Those kinds of weapons. Vile Tongue. One-handed superior weapon. A lot of accuracy. Great recovery. No armor penetration. Probably a cool weapon for Verse. But it'll... We'll, we'll see if I even bring her back into the party or not. I never, want, I never want to neglect characters, but it's hard to say in advance which ones you're really going to end up using. Because there's just usually a lot of them. Oh, there's more merchants to check with. Have you seen the seal? Vasila looks at the seal for a few moments and shakes her head. Can't say I recognize it, but I don't really get into the affairs outside of Lethian's Crossing unless I have to. Cashier to Bronze might, though. He seems to be well-traveled. Okay, so we'll go back up to him then. Should check what- oh, she sells potions. And there's a core of frost and lightning. Let's see. Yeah, I don't have the lightning one yet. And it's only one. That's cheap. Uh, camping supplies are available. And a few potion types. Greater healing potions give you 100% health, but they're not cheap. I think I'll mostly just be happy to have the uh, frost sigil. I mean, the uh, lightning sigil. Right, I gotta go out of here. There we go. New spell core. Lightning. Channel energy, energy to the sigil of lightning. Pers uh, personal sigil of the Archon of Storms. Governor of the Blasted Reach District in Kairos' Empire. Few are able to unlock the p uh, full potential of the sigil as the summon lightning is hard to control. Let's look into customization options then. So we can do focused intent and distant impact. Charged Fist. 11 to 16 shock damage at a 2 meter range. Leads to an 8 meter push, apparently. Channel explosive surge of electrical energy. Releasing it uh, all at once on a nearby enemy. Interrupting them and sending them flying back. Pretty good for pushing enemies away from you. Probably not a bad thing to add to certain characters to keep them safe. Maybe even our, defen our, uh, our defensive caster that, that wants to have distance from people. Hit them to the charged fists and then like a false pit or something, so they they get pushed back and then go crazy, uh, thinking that they're falling in a hole. Electric jolt, that's the one she's using right there. Electric hit the target with a huge bolt of uh, entwining lightning, dealing shock damage and stunning them. So let's then the, then the options we have here, we can increase its damage by two to four. Its range by eight. And we can make it have six fewer seconds of cooldown. So let's reset here. We'll look at her copy of it. She has Electric Jolt right here. Might as well try to at least augment it now that I have the ability to. She has 59 total lore. Figure intensity is not a terrible option. But if I do that, then I can't do anything else. She's agonizing close to being able to reduce the cooldown. Let's see. It's almost something to increase the cooldown and and uh, go for the cooldown and the range at once and maybe ignore the intensity. So I could do both of these and I'd still keep her under. But the range is not amazing, is it? Yeah, it's just two meters. Let's not split hairs on that detail. Let's just make it powerful. Let's just be off. Let's, let's just be uh, straightforward about it. 
Okay, so now I'm able to augment lightning, and over time we'll get better and more interesting variants to toy around with. Cool. The collection grows. One more merchant check. Oh, two more merchants. This is Tychus. The seal? Doesn't look like any seal I've encountered. Sorry, someone else might know. And he sells... Ooh. A scary looking bow. An exquisite quality bow. It requires an entire type of currency that we haven't even used yet. A bronze javelin. Lose the armor penetration but gain recovery, accuracy, half a DPS. Not terrible ideas. Oathbreaker dagger. It doesn't even look like a dagger from that icon, honestly. The iron javelin is just garbage compared to mine, because I have an exquisite quality iron javelin. So I'm not necessarily in a hurry to upgrade, because I already have a decent option for myself. Hey, bronze. Greetings and salutations. A jolly merchant greets you with a smile and a clap on the shoulder. And welcome to Lethian's Crossing, home of the best merchant in the entirety of the tiers. He pauses and winks. That would be me. Hacker, uh... Hakian Bronze, at your service, he, ba he bows. What can I do for you? Have you seen the seal? Huh, let me take a look, shall we? Hakiard, uh takes the seal and turns it over. When he spots the insignia, he quickly deposits it back in your hand and wipes his palms clean. Where did you get that? It came from a merchant caravan that was ransacked. Suspected as much? He mumbles and, wor and worries his brow. So far off the normal trade routes... But why there? Why then? Why now? Maybe you should start by telling me about the merchants. He refocuses on you and nods. Of course, the sigil belongs to the Hand Over Quill Merchant Company. He, his lips uh, tightened to form a violent pucker. Tell me more about Hand Over Quill. They were once a powerful trade organization that, well, he cups his mouth and glances around. Let's just say they didn't want to, uh, to get between them and a contract. Uh, they didn't want to get between... Oh, let's just say you didn't want to get between them and a contract. Uh, that's uh, what with Tunan's new laws in the Bastard City, the Quill slunk into the shadows of Kairos' authority, trying to keep a lower profile. If you're involved in any of their dealings, stay far away. A shipment of iron and weapons went missing. It was found with a seal in a house in Echo Crossing. He strokes his he strokes the shadow of beard growth under his chin. Suspicious, I agree. But war always has its little problems. He waves a dismissal. It doesn't add up. Now, if we can return to the subject of my wares. He smiles and readies to show you some fancy bauble. The weapons were meant for the disfavored, and the Vendrian Guard suddenly had iron weapons. The Vendrian Guard? Hakian uh, drums his fingers on the, his mouth and considers, Well, this changes everything. I, uh, this changes things, I suppose. Changes things? What does Hand Over Quill have to do with the Vendrian Guard? First things first. Hakian clears his throat. This will come at a price. If something unfortunate took place, and my connection were, tra and my connection were traced back to me... The consequences would be costly. So I can pay with rings, use athletics, or some. Wow, do I have 53 of both, or is that the cost? That's gotta just. That, no, that number has to. That has to indicate the uh, difficulty level, not my actual stat. That'd be weird if they were that tied. So I can. Uh, I can. I can. Uh, I can pay him up front. I can intimidate him, or I can. Uh, Sus be suspicious, suspicious about his, uh, his reputation, basically. You know, I'm shocked to find an honest merchant like yourself engaging in illicit trade. His complexion loses some co color. Illicit? Whatever do you mean? Gesture to his wares. That bottle. Essence of Mezenberry is a deadly poison. What bottle? Hakian turns, pulling on the end of his beard. He tries to follow the direction of your gesture. There's no... Then his confusion clears, replaced by stark understanding. Of course there's a bottle. And after you tell the authorities that I must have stashed or destroyed it, that's your word against mine, am I correct? Most perceptive of you. Occupational hazard. The merchant lets out a heavy sigh. I should be used to this by now. If you... Uh, there goes the seal. If you breathe the word of this to anyone, I will denounce you for the liar that you are, but... 
He looks around to make sure there are no settlers close enough to overhear what is being said. I received instructions from Fifth Eye to use Hand Over Quill to deliver iron weapons to Vendrian's well, uh, Citadel. I don't question my orders, I just follow through. I don't know anything else, and that's the truth. Oh. It was Fifth Eye? That means it was the Scarlet Chorus behind it. <laughs> the Scarlet Chorus were trading uh, disfavored weapons with the uh, Ventrians well. Goody. Goody. This will be fun to put forth. So they're both crooked, basically, is what's going to be cut, what we're going to get out of this. Also, I didn't really realize. Uh, I kind of wish sometimes that the the dialogue options were better explained in context, because I thought that I was making a dialogue op choice about, like, the, the suspicions of his connections with the hand over quill and stuff like that, but I, the implication of my dialogue was that I was going to then invent an entire story about his the, a poison that he's trading, and I'm like, that's not... That wasn't listed there. That's not... That wasn't explained that that was what I was saying, and I just kind of had to go with it once it started, because I didn't realize what I was clicking on. Hello. Mercy. Two-handed. That is a big ol' weapon. The Staff of Enigma. Let's take a look at this. Uh, 1.25 DPS, no other differences. But DPS is good. I mean, that's a lot of DPS. Whoa. Whoa, that's interesting too. Instead of doing, uh... So right now she does 11 frost damage. This one would do 12 random damage. Like of an element we don't know? That's interesting. Space on control illusions and magic staff. So... Basically a skill that people don't necessarily focus on right now. Light armor. 10 shark armor, 10 shock armor and 2% deflection for a pretty high price. Heavy bronze that no one really can wear in this party. Light leather gauntlets. There's a leather. So it costs 30 but I get 1% deflection, uh, 0.1 recovery, 9% precision. And 3.1 unarmed, unarmed DPS. Don't care about the DPS, but everything else seems like decent bonuses. This precision is the chance that when attacking a target, after the hit re result is determined, the hit will be upgraded to a higher hit result. So a graze becomes a hit and stuff like that. That's great. That's a good thing. I might, I might want to use that to upgrade my main character. There's some cloth items. Of rogues. 10 subterfuge. Mantle of Mirrors, Spell def Reflection, 20% chance of incoming hostile spells being reflected back to their casters. Wow, actually. Uh, ring Courtier's Seal, 10% Will Defense, the ring, oh, ring Counter. The Ring Counter Seal is a token of respectability among those with a mind for numbers. It's kind of expensive, though. Ooh. So, we already, we already know this one. We don't know Fire yet, huh? Right, I right, I almost bought that back there, and I went, moved, I passed on it. Sigil of rooting and sigil of bleeding. Only twelve. Uh, scroll contains a magical accent, which adds a bleeding affliction to a spell. That sounds neat. But I also want the gauntlets. That's thirty. That'd be forty-two. All right, I can just click on them, and that would tell me the price. Forty-three. I can work with this. That offsets it very slightly. <laughs> Let's put those on you. Enjoy your new gauntlets. Neat. Okay, we'll just pass this over to you. What? What? No, you use it. Oh, I'm clicking on the wrong character. There we go. My bad. So now we can take spells and add bleeding to them. That'll be interesting. So that's over here. Sigil of bleeding. So the question then is which ones are going to have access to it. So I don't have it there because this is buffs. How about you? Bleeding. So you can make false pit have bleeding affliction. That's neat. So let's look for... Here's false pit on Guy Lovebridge. It costs 40... Can I, how much does it take to add this? Ooh, it's plus 25. That's expensive. This is... Reduced cooldown. Can I get away with that? 55? No, I cannot get away with that at all. So we'll get away from that. But you have a false pit. And you 
can probably afford it, so let's get bleeding. No, you can't. <laughs> uh, well, I can... So we'll take bleeding, but then we'll move, like, uh... The bonus range? And maybe the cooldown if I need to? Uh, it's at 85 right now. There we go. So now, False Spit does the bonus damage and it has a bleeding effect for... Our caster over here. Cool. Reset. So there's Spectral Blur, False Pit. Okay. So Spectral Blur would make no sense because it's a buff. Frozen Grasp can have... Wow, you can add Bleeding to, to more things than I would expect, honestly. So it works for Frozen Grasp. It works for... Rhyme Spike. I would not expect it to work for casting spells. I mean, uh, defensive spells. Concussive Bolt can have Bleeding and Rooting. And it also works for Charged Fist and Electric Jolt. Okay. So reset, let's check. Uh, this currently is 50. So we can't get it adding that, not even close, right? Not unless I want to remove the bonus strength to add a bleeding effect. Which is not a terrible idea, because it's stats over time. Uh, let's see. The, the, there's not exactly... Oh, that's Affliction. Yeah, it's raw damage over time. It's not explained how much damage it'll be, unfortunately, but it's something. It's not a terrible idea to add instead of the bonus damage, for example, because it's another... Yeah, actually, I think I will. If I... Add bleeding to the spell instead of the raw, instead of just the basic shock bonus. That means that the bonus damage will then be of a different element, which means that even if they're resistant to shock, it, they'd be taking another type of damage, and that's neat. Also, if they heal in the moment and, and it doesn't remove the affliction, then they would then uh, still take more damage. We can't do anything with Phantom Bolt yet. Rhyme Spike is 50, so I can't do this unless I make it weaker, which I think I will if I can. 55, yeah, I can get away with that. Cool. Frozen Grasp is 45. I can probably do that then. No, I can't. I think I'll just do the same thing again. Yeah, I think it's... Oh, this one I can get away with take, uh, just losing its cooldown bonus. Cool. Spectral Blur is a buff. These are mostly buff spells, of course. And I've already augmented you. And my character has such low stats, he mostly can't change these things. That's because this is 10, and this is 25, so it's not... Yeah, I can't get away with the difference there. So I think that's as far as that change is going to go. Still, party's getting tougher. I'm glad to have... I got a purple weapon, and I got a purple uh, purple gloves on this character now. Our protagonist is going to be scary. Damn it, whether they like it or not. And we've already been through all this. What's this guy's deal? He's just checking... Just chilling out? Good riddance to those uptight beast rudders. Ooh. Everyone's talking about fucking animals. It's starting to get weird. It's noisy in here. Everyone, what's going on here? People are dressed in white. Are they dancing for some reason? Na their names are Galem, Lorid, Timo, and Zotica. And they're... There's Mistress Sophia. What is this place? Let's find out, I guess. What a pleasure it is to see you in my establishment, Fadebinder. It is always an honor to entertain someone of your standing at Lethian's Mistress. If you need, if you have need of entertainment or company for a short time, uh, then we look forward to fulfilling those needs. How may I, how may I and my entertainers be of service to you? Tell me about your establishment. Lethian's Mistress started as a safe place for people to come to drink in secret, but eventually it evolved into a gathering place where drinking and... Her eyes twinkle as she considers her words. It evolved into a gathering place where drinking and, fornic and fornication were both common activities. Everyone needs a way to relax, and I provide one for them. What part are you Lethian's crossing? I was, one of I was one of Lethian's mistresses, of course. And where Lethian went, so did I. She was very adventurous, and not really the type to settle down. I may not have gotten all of her attention, but I did end up with a nice business, and I've been very comfortable. And if I had to share uh, her with various men and women around town, I was willing to be generous with her time. So she must be very old then, right? Because Lethian's long gone, isn't she? I think that's really all we need, though. 
So, hello. Some characters to meet, it looks like. Zotica. The young woman smiles, her eyes widening with innocence. Welcome to Lethian's Mistress, Fatebinder. My name's Zotica. Are you here to teach me the ways of the world? What can you offer that the others can't? <laughs> it's not really where I'm planning on going with this. Tell me about yourself. Zodoka's face blushes bright red and she turns her head, covering her mouth with her hand. Me? She, she asks quietly, her voice shy. Why do you want to know about me? I'm a simple girl. I know nothing in, uh, of this world or my place in it. She looks into your eyes. Are you here to teach me? That's cre that's really creepy. <laughs> this is like the people that are like into like lolis or something. And, like their really creepy treatment of like eh, the animes. <laughs> it's getting weird. Just gonna grab a few things. So these are just random people. I think, I think that guy talking to Lord, Lord, that guy with the Lord. Like, he smiled at me. Alright. Keep calm down. Oh yeah, there's someone talking to Lorid. Galum. Good evening. The tall, thin man smiles as you approach. And welcome to the Lethian's Mistress. My name is Galum, and it would be it do me uh, no end of pleasure to serve you today. There's not much to say, really. Galum muses quietly for a moment. I am from the north, and when it was traveling with my... With a performing troop, when we were beset by bandits near Lethian's Crossing. I was injured and lost consciousness when I came to. Mr. Sophia was nursing my wounds. The rest of the troop died in the fight, and I had nowhere to go, so the mistress offered me a position. She knew my performing skills would come in handy. It's the best job I've ever had. Good day to you, traveler. My name is Timo. The dancer greets you with a slowly gyrating, uh, while slowly gyrating her hips suggestively as you approach. Her eyes flash brightly and she smiles, moving her hands into a welcoming gesture. Are you in need of a companion? Timo dips her head demurely as she, uh, and looks at you coyly. The past is of no interest to me. She speaks in a calming, dulcet tone. I like to think about here. She points to a spot between her breasts and slowly traces her finger down the front of her body. Now. And last one. Welcome! Welcome to Lethian's Mistress. The large man flexes his enormous biceps with charcoal skin glistening in the, in the light. What can Laura do for you? Do you need some company today? Tell me about yourself. My life story? Sorry to say it's short and boring. I had a happy childhood. Nothing bad ever happened. I grew up to be big and strong and never had any health issues. I appreciate... Miss, uh, I, I, pre I approached Mistress Sophia about a job because I, I like what and who I get to do here. I'm, I'm amused that you can interrogate every single one of them. What's, what about this guy? Look at him. He's definitely my kind of man. If you get a chance, feel his pecs. They're like granite. I think I'm going to head out now. Unless that's a character. Is there no characters in here, really, besides those two? The, those people? Do people... Do they actually use these things? Wait. What is he looking at? Now I want to know. <laughs> now I want to know what he's looking at. <laughs> I think it's time to go. So back in the overworld, I couldn't help but notice on the map here that this place is called Siren Sanctuary, which is a character that's kind of important. Not really sure how I missed this place the first time around. Did I miss it the first time around? Yeah, there's Siren right there. Did I... Have I been here yet? No, there's still an item that hasn't been opened yet. So I missed this place somehow. How did I do that? I don't know, it's hard... I, I mean, I, I can totally see how I did that, actually. It's kind of hard to keep track of all the shit that's going on around here. Like, you can't really tell where all the freaking, uh... Like, which built, which route, which doors you've checked so far and stuff, because there's so damn many of them. Just, these are just all random settlers. Oh, uh, is she, is she mind-controlling them again? Alright. Well, long time no see, huh? Siren stands there, surrounded by a group of villagers. She speaks to them in soft, dulcet tones, holding them hyp uh, hypnotized with her hand motions. Her headdress flashes as she speaks, and you are unable to tell if it's a trick or the light of the gem in it is actually glowing. She is swept up in her oration and seems completely unaware that you've arrived. There's a lull in her conversation, and she opens her eyes. Well, look who's here. And what brings you to Lethian's Crossing? I can't imagine it's the scenery or the quaint locals. Have you come to spoil my fun? She frowns a little, momentarily lost in thought. Tunon probably insisted you find me, didn't he? 
Because we can't let Siren have any fun, can we? Let's control her. Let's tell her what she can and can't do. Let's use her to destroy nations. As she speaks, the crowd around her appears agitated, and the air in the room grows heavy and warm. Suddenly she smiles. But enough of that talk. What do you think of my followers? She makes a motion over the group, gathered at her feet, and she speaks. Uh, as she speaks, you feel peaceful serenity washing over you. The crowd calms, and breathing becomes easier. Siren, didn't we have this problem already? Oh, Feetbinder. It's not like I was forming an army. And I refuse to take blame for how others respond to me. She rolls her eyes, and in the, the feeling in the room changes. You feel a mild discomfort settle over everything, over everything. Are you going to disband this group, too? She asks, her tone turning cold. It feels like the room is getting smaller. Siren, you need to control yourself. Ugh, not this again. All anyone wants is for me to control myself. Why doesn't anyone want me to let loose? I know, I know. You don't have to answer. She holds up a hand and rolls her eyes again. That was a joke. I have a little more self-control than that. But maybe you're right. Perhaps if you were to allow me to accompany you... You did activate one of the spires, so your power is something I could learn from. You'd be able to teach me how to control myself. Okay, Siren, you may join me. You need someone watching you. Well then, let's go. If you're gonna teach me the wonders of the world, it's not gonna happen here. Well, that was a tad abrupt, wasn't it? She's just, boom, I'm here now. Hello, I'm Siren. Abruptly. Can I... Can you leave the party, by the way? I was, I was briefly wondering if your main character could leave. So I guess you'd have to leave, replace Ebb in this case. Uh, I just got her, so it feels weird to replace a character this quickly, but we should probably figure out how the character works to some extent or something. Yeah, that was weird. She was so completely uninterested in dealing with me before that it's weird that she just abruptly, I just find her in some corner of the map and she just joins my party just like that. That's a weird moment. But here she is, and she's level 7, so she is well and truly ahead of some of the party, isn't she?